Start by removing the battery. Once the battery is removed, you're going to unscrew the nut that holds the clock hands in place. This should be easily done with your fingers. You might need a small pair of pliers to do this. Then carefully remove the minute hand. It should just lift off. The hour hand is pressed on so you can sometimes lift it off with your fingers or you can use something to pry it off like two forks. Make sure that you get really close to the base so that it lifts off without bending. Then you're going to remove the nut that holds the clockworks in place. Probably uh, an adjustable wrench or a small pair of pliers is sufficient to do this. Unscrew the nut, remove it, and then there's a washer that holds the clock stem in place. Remove that and then remove the clockworks from the back of the clock. Your new clockworks is going to come with a little packet of nuts and washers. Take those out of the little package and then get your clockworks ready to insert. By the way, it's really important that you purchase the right size clockworks because they come with different size stems from really, really short ones to ones that are fit uh, about three quarters of an inch. You take that black plastic washer and you put it on the stem and then you are going to insert that into the back of the clock. Then you take the little brass washer and you put that on and then the brass nut goes on top of the washer. You screw that on and you are going to need something to tighten it up a little bit. You don't want to tighten it too tight it will destroy the inner workings of the clockwork. So go ahead and tighten it up lightly. Then put on the minute hand. It only goes on one way because it has an oblong hole in it. Put that at 12 o'clock. Then take the hour hand and put it on an hour. You can see I chose 9 o'clock here. Make sure that it's pointing right toward the number and then press it down right around the stem. Then put your minute hand on and take the nut that has the closed top, the cap nut, and screw it on to hold the minute hand in place. You may have to hold the minute hand with one hand and then screw the nut on with the other. Screw it on fairly tightly but don't use any pliers to do this. At this point you're ready to insert your battery and your clock should be ready to run and you can adjust the time. I recommend using the little adjustment um, lever on the back of the clock rather than pushing the hands with your fingers. That's it, your clock is ready to hang and run.